All right, so I've decided to put together this lecture in the Dumbbells to Dollars course because a lot of you students have been asking for a section on how to put together flyers. And flyers can be great for your business, but they do have their place. So the number one thing that you wanna remember is the rule of nine. And that just states that typically, people need to have nine interactions with your product before they make a purchase. So you may think that if you have this awesome flyer, you can put it in your local Starbucks or in your local supermarket, and that'll draw in a lot of people. And it may draw in people, I'm not saying that it won't, but the flyers are going to be best used um, if they're handed to somebody that has a lot of pull. So let's say you have a teacher um, and then you give them a flyer, they can present the flyer at the PTA meeting, all right, because that's more of a pattern interrupt. Uh, ask yourself, the last time you were at a Starbucks, when did you actually pay attention to a flyer, A, and then B, take action? So it has to be a number of things, a number of interactions that your clients or potential clients have for your business. Now, um, going forward, you also have to understand that if they've already seen you, let's say on social media, and then they run into your flyer, they may then be more apt to take action. So it's going to be in your best interest not to just rely on your flyer, but to make sure that your website is up, that your Facebook advertising page is up, that your Yelp page is up, that your Groupon is up, um, and then uh, people may have seen your business before and then that flyer may be the last thing that they need to take action. So um, make sure that all that is already taken care of in the other lectures. But for now, I'm gonna go over how to build your flyer. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start off with Canva as we've been going over this with a lot of the logo building throughout the site. And as you can see, I've made a number of different flyers. This is for Christian who has a BFF bootcamp over in Booton, New Jersey. Um, as you saw in a previous lecture, we went over how to make rate sheets and how to put together your times and dates for your mobile landing page site. So if you haven't gone through that, make sure to go to the other lectures in the course and get that going. But we're gonna focus specifically on putting together a flyer. And we just wanna put in the most pertinent information to get people as interested as early as possible. So I have some resources in the course that you're going to take advantage of, and let's go into that right now. We're gonna go over to letterhead, because that's eight and a half by 11 inches. And this may seem intimidating, but these are only a couple pieces that you have to use, and you're gonna be fine. So let's start off with the bottom third, and essentially you can go over to the Dumbbells to Dollars folders and go over to Flyer. So here we are, we're at flyers. We're gonna to go to bottom third. And if you don't have your own high quality picture, you can use any of these as an example. So this is a basketball court, this is a beach, this is a park, this is a gym. These two might not be as good. Um, this is an indoor facility, all right? So let's assume you're gonna be starting off in a park. You're simply gonna take this and gonna drag it over to Canva. It will then upload, as you see here, and then we're gonna double click it to add it to the image. So we're gonna scroll this down and we're gonna drag this out so that the ends go to the end of the paper. We're gonna keep that right there. Okay, now let's decide on a color scheme because that's gonna determine the middle area. She has a purple dumbbell in her hand. Let's just assume that yours is purple. So we're gonna go over to shapes. And then you're simply gonna click on the free white one. All right, so now they turned it black, but we're gonna hit this black right here, and then we're gonna choose purple. All right, so now the middle of our flyer is gonna be purple, and now we're simply going to tilt it slightly. We're gonna tilt this bad boy slightly, and now we're gonna drag out the ends so that it covers the entire page. All right, and then we're actually going to tilt it a little bit less slightly. We want it. Slight tilt, all right, that's what we're gonna go for. So now, we're going to have our headline up top. We're gonna to have a black line across to put our contact information, and then we're gonna put location details here and contact details here. So we're gonna need this free shape again. Now we're gonna pull the bottom. We're gonna pull the top. We're gonna to extend this out. 
That's good. And now let's start entering some information. So the first thing you want to enter is your website. If they have any extra questions, where can they go? So we just hit add heading. We're going to double click and then we're going to say So it says here, for more information, go to xyzbootcamp.com. We're going to select all this. We're going to change this color to white. And then we're going to change the face to something that's easy to read. And I like this aileron, aileron heavy. That looks good enough for me. So we're going to drag this out so that this fits. And now we're going to use our arrow buttons put this in the middle. Now, if this is too big, let's just take the font down a little bit. So we're going to select all, go from 42 to 36, from 36 to 28. There we go. And that fits. There we go. So that's in the middle. Now we're going to put our social media information down here. Now you can upload images. I already have a ton uploaded, including my picture. So if you have a profile picture, Anywhere on your computer, you can go to upload and then upload that, but I'll just put mine in right now. And I'll drag this over to the left. Now, instead of you having to worry about finding different social media logos, if you go back to the flyers folder, you'll notice that there's a Facebook logo, an Instagram logo, a Snapchat logo, and a website logo. So you can actually drag those into Canva as well. So if I wanted to put my Instagram, I'm going to drag the Instagram logo over here. It's going to upload. I'm going to double click and then I'm going to resize it. I'll put that here. I'll grab the Facebook logo and then I'll drag it over to Canva. It'll upload. I'll double click it. I'll resize it. And that will be right here. And then I'm going to go back over to the text and then a little bit of body text. I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to put at XYZ bootcamp. I'm going to change this font from black to white. I'm going to make sure that this is selected. I'm going to pull it down right next to my Instagram logo. All right. Now, if it's the exact same, you can just click this, hit copy, and then drag this one next to Facebook. Snapchat will work the same way. So if you have Snapchat, if you're a Snapchat user, you're going to drag it over and then just make some room for this bad boy and let people know that you're on Snapchat as well. So I'm going to move the Facebook down. I'm going to make the logo a little bit smaller so everything else fits. I'm going to move the Instagram up. Make that a little bit smaller so everything fits. And I'm going to snap that Snapchat over in the middle. Make it a little bit smaller since everything is supposed to fit. I'm not being overly anal right now because I'm showing you how to do this, but you want to make sure that everything is aligned and they have these guide buttons. As you can see here, there's a dotted line to let you know that it's directly under. And then I'm going to take XYZ bootcamp. I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to drag that up here. All right. Now you may want to put your name. So I'll just copy this one more time. And then I will put your instructor, Jonathan. So I'm going to drag that under. And I'll either make my picture a little bit smaller or I'll drag it a little bit higher. I'll do both. And 
and now they have your social media information. Thank you.